If you want to understand the eye, the human eye, which I hope you do because it's amazing, then you will definitely want to understand lenses. Lenses are nothing more or less than prisms, but they're prisms that, that operate in a particular way to form an image. First, define the focal point and the focal length of a converging lenses, lens. We'll talk about two kinds of lenses, converging and diverging. First, converging. Converging lenses are fatter in the middle and skinnier on the ends. So, shape, shape like this. Um, your eye, the lens in your eye is a converging lens. The focal point is the point at which paraxial rays converge after passing through a converging lens. This is starting to sound a little bit familiar. Because <laughs> in the last chapter we talked about focal point, we talked about paraxial rays, uh, and you'll see a lot of similarities between what we do in this chapter and the previous chapter. Focal point is where all these paraxial rays, they're close to the axis, close to the principal axis, right? And parallel to the principal axis, pass through the converging lens, and they come down and, and focus at this point called the focal point. Focal length, distance between the lens and the focal point. And that's it. It's, it looks a whole lot like mirrors. Define the focal point and the focal length of a diverging lens. Some of you have glasses that look like this, that are thinner in the middle and uh, thinner in the middle and thicker near the outside, or contacts. Here's the idea. We've got paraxial rays coming in. They get um, refracted away from the principal axis. So that's embarrassing because they don't look like they're converging. In order to find the convergence point, we have to take extensions of those rays, shown here in the dotted black lines, to find what we call the focal point. And the um, focal point is the point from which paraxial rays that pass through the lens appear to originate. So this is a lot like the convex um, lens. We had to define the focal length as a negative number and here we do the same thing. The focal length is the negative of the distance between the focal point and the lens. So it's always going to be a negative number. Um, so it's actually negative. Why? Just like in the last chapter, it makes the math comes out come out a whole lot easier if you just define it to be a negative number for a diverging lens. So here are some examples of converging lenses, uh, double convex, plano convex, plane on one side and, and convex on the other side, convex and concave on both sides but still bulging in the middle and still a converging lens. Diverging lenses, similar 